Thanks for joining us on our streaming service for your first alert avalanche forecast. I'm your first alert meteorologist Callie Zanandri and joining me is Brian Lazar from the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. Brian, we finally have some snow. How are conditions? Yeah, finally is the operative word, but we are getting there. So conditions are getting a little bit better. And let me show you what that looks like. Um, you can see that the storm snow that fell starting uh, just after Thanksgiving around November 29th and lasting through December 1st did help our snowpack quite a bit. We were sitting at kind of 20s and even 30 percentile of long-term median. The recent snow did bump up, particularly the central and southern mountains where we're sitting in the 60s or even low 70s of long-term median. Northern mountains are still lagging behind but as we'll talk about in a little bit, um, that should change coming into the weekend. What all this new snow did was up, bump up the avalanche danger. Um, so we sat at low danger for most of November, largely due to the lack of snow cover, and now we're moving into real avalanche season. So you can see we have widespread moderate avalanche danger with portions of the San Juan Mountains, which picked up you know, a foot to a foot and a half of recent snow, uh, sitting at level three or considerable avalanche danger as we move into the last part of this work week. And what's driving that danger are two flavors of avalanches, our classic persistent slab avalanches and also some storm snow instabilities and of note here is that most of these avalanches are on the small side and almost all of them are occurring on the north half of the compass with some avalanches breaking on the east side so those most dangerous slopes are still your higher elevation northerly and east facing slopes which have received most of uh, the early season snow that stuck around. As I mentioned, we saw dozens of avalanches um, since the last loading event. Most of them look like this. They're really small, fairly easy to manage, but they are starting to grow in size. Um, this is the one that we're most worried about. So snowpacks this deep are still hard to find, but particularly in the northern San Juan Mountains, you can find uh, wind drifted snow that's you know up to two or even three feet deep in the heaviest drifts, and that is sitting on that old weak snow that fell in late October and early November. And these are the kinds of avalanches which are starting to grow in size and what makes them more concerning is you can trigger them from a distance. You can see these small avalanches released below these rocky bands and they were triggered by ski tracks in the upper right hand side of this photo. So you can see you can trigger these avalanches even from a distance. And while most of these are small, you can see just how rocky the underlying bed surface is. And if you were to get dragged, here's another remote trigger from down in the San Juans and you can see here if you were to take even a ride in a small slide, you're getting dragged through lots of rocks, talus, and boulders, which could certainly end your season early or even worse. Now some really good news for skiers and riders. More snow is finally on the way for the weekend, and we are talking some big snow, one to two feet in some locations, but this new snow is also expected to drive up avalanche danger. Yeah, you know, the snow that fell right after Thanksgiving uh, sat out there in some cold temperatures prior to this incoming storm, which starts on Friday. And so now it's fairly weak near the ground. And so we're just going to overload those weak layers, which I just showed in the video. And we've got ample moisture coming in with really good jet support. That usually means pretty healthy snow totals. So you can see here the snow really gets going in the northern mountains on Friday afternoon, spreads into the central mountains as we move overnight Friday and into Saturday, which will be the peak intensity and peak in stability and by the time it's all said and done by the end of the weekend like you said we're looking at snow totals of one to two feet with maybe even more than that in a couple locations maybe even in the park range or the flat tops the, because the jet is ringing out all that snow it is going to mean we're going to see a lot of conditions like this it's a lot of fresh snow coming in with a lot of wind so all that wind drifted snow will start landing on those weak layers we just talked about and we will see an, a pretty big uptick our first real serious widespread dangerous avalanche conditions of the season and we can't even rule out getting a high danger up in the alpine in some places in the northern and central mountains so it is really time to dust off those avalanche skills start paying attention because it's going to be the real deal this weekend well, Brian, thank you for all of the information and thank you for joining us. We will see you back here next week for your first alert avalanche report.